in this vlog I'm going to look at something a little bit different, something um, beautiful, something that's so real that it's almost hyper real. We're going to look at thin places. Hi, it's Scott MacArthur here, creator of the Edge of Next vlog. Um, coming to you today from a beautiful place uh, in Scotland. I'm here today in Loch Lomond. Today I'm going to talk about something that um, I first became aware of it probably about 20 years ago when I was standing in one of my favourite places and that's um, a mountain not far from where I am now called Ben Moor. And I just felt this sort of spine tingling, otherworldly almost feeling. And as I discussed this with one of my friends, he said to me, Scott, you've just experienced a thin place. I really didn't know what that was, but a thin place, according to the Christian Celtic uh, tradition, is where the gap between heaven and earth is, is very, very thin indeed. You get a glimpse of the divine in that tradition. It's not my way of framing it really, I think there's another way of putting it. I think the one of the best descriptions of it I found in a book uh, that was all about travel and it was actually an Apache Indian idea that places have wisdom. It really is a place where there's something about it, you can see the distance, there's the mountains and the weather and the sunshine and the rain and the, um, the, the noise. Uh, I won't be editing the video uh, sound because it's fantastic and I don't know if you can see just that um, about the middle point now on the video, there's, there's a waterfall and it, it's cascading down the mountain there and it looks it looks amazing, I'm tempted to, to walk up there and, and have a look. But these places are special and I every now and again I feel like I have to come to a thin place. It just gives me a sense of reconnecting with myself. What a star this place is. It's you just couldn't, I, and I know you can't fully appreciate it just using a, an iPhone to, to capture it but it's still, even these in this little screen, it's still astonishing. Just, and I think this type of place is not some otherworldly place. I think it's the earth as it truly is. It's actually hyper real. So what is a thin space? Well, I, I don't know if I can define it um, because, do you know, I've found places like bookstores you know when you're sitting there in a bookstore, if you ever do it, you sit down and you, you you pick a book off the shelf and you read it for a few minutes and you find half an hour has gone. That's a thin place. A place that just, time seems to be suspended, it just seems to merge into into nothing. Um, but this, this is probably a more classic type of thin place where you see people all along the banks of Loch Lomond just standing on their own looking out into the water yeah and you're not thinking oh they're going to jump in you know they're, they're, they're lost in their thoughts they're they're experiencing something that they rarely experience sat in an office or in a busy city or a busy bar it's a feeling of being out of time rather than in time absolutely glorious feeling so what have thin places got to do with the future of work? I think we can use the idea of thin places in how we consider the workplace. I personally find that I just get such a boost from being in these places. I get refreshed, I get um, calm. You know, I'm not jumping about right now, I'm feeling really quite cool. and. Uh, I've only had one cup of coffee, so it's not as if I'm uh, lacking uh, caffeine or anything, but I'm, I'm definitely at peace with myself here. And I think that 
is important because you find your mind going on to subjects that are important, things that you maybe haven't thought about for a while, things that are right in front of you that you maybe haven't thought enough about in a while. Uh, I, I spend so much time just sitting here on my own, just reflecting on what I'm going to be doing over the next few months and how I'm going to you know, get back to the new normal, whatever that is, um, over the next few weeks as the, 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 the world reawakens from the COVID pandemic, hopefully, and uh, the whole merry-go-round that is my life of going from one conference to another, from one country to another, kicks off again. But seeking out these places definitely grounds me, and I, and I think it's something that companies should say to their people, you know, get away, have a, have a break. They should encourage people to do this, because I think it can only do positive things for how people get back to work and get back to thinking about how they perform at work. My name is Scott MacArthur, I'm the producer of the Edge of Next vlog and I'm very grateful for you popping along. If you have never been here before, please think about hitting the subscribe button here and tick the little bell when it comes up and it means you won't miss another video when I release it. Thanks very much for tuning in.